This your boy Mikey with We Talking Media. We're going to go over a topic that will be part of the We Talk Economics channel, strictly on financial aspects of the, of the world. Um, and this one goes deep. As a kid, um, I used to watch shows, Little House on the Prairie and, and um, you know, a Love and Marriage, <laughs> Married with Children, that is. You know, the Huxtables and French Prince and Bel-Air and all those type of shows. And it would show uh, the family life. And, you know, when you get the wife and kids, uh, there's usually a baby and a carriage and then a house. The mantra of home ownership is changing due to the high inflation. A lot of people are angry at the investors. And I warn you, that's not the issue. There was always fences in place to make you understand to stop the investor from going too far with his involvement in housing those fences were lifted up after the covid crisis in 2020 i believe there was a huge mistake done by the federal reserve in pushing money into the system forcing those investors to put the money to work because it was so cheap that's what drove up these houses since 2020 to sometimes 100% gains, 150% gains, 200% gains in some of these communities. Now, with the prices so high, you would think, as everyone keeps pushing, that there's going to be a crash. But the entrepreneurs are already in the business and they see the grand scale of holding something, an asset that they can physically see that even with headaches, because renting, renting is a headache, to be honest with you. It's worthwhile to go ahead and keep pushing on and getting in this business. So now what has precluded the gambit of new investors or old entrepreneurs into the real estate business is the new model. And as we look at our lives every day, wake up, go to work, come back, sleep shit eat same thing every day we can look at the past and talk about all those damn slaves yeah they had chains on them they were beaten whipped etc but if you think about it today and you really look at your life are we that much different let's get into the next thing that they're going to take away from what i call the american dream as home ownership becomes something different in the eyes of an investor you will own well, let, let me let them tell you. Brand new neighborhoods with brand new houses seem to pop up weekly in Central Florida. Yes, they do. But in some of these communities, the homes are not for sale. Well, she's Meredith McDonough takes us into these rent-only subdivisions. I previously resided in New York and came to Florida for the good weather, more family-oriented environment, fresh air, sun, beaches, all that good stuff. Joanna Becknell was looking for the perfect home, and she found it at Binion Reserve in Apopka. With so many new neighborhoods being built in Central Florida, this one is unique. The homes are not for sale, but for rent. I was surprised. Um, you know, normally you see apartment communities going up and to see a community of homes going up. And I said to myself, goal, next year I'm going to get a house. And here I am. This community is one of nine owned and operated by American Homes for Rent. You may have seen some of the rental home communities in Apopka, but also at Sky Lakes in St. Cloud and Celery Cove in Sanford. Brent Laundrie is the Executive Vice President of Development for AMH. He flew in from Atlanta to take us on a tour of Windward Hills across from the Orlando Apopka Airport. So in the change is now. With the high cost of getting into a house, as in the down payment, and the also the cost of the interest at current state, again, it's very high right now, so it's, it makes it nearly impossible. You're looking at payments that were anything that was at fifteen, sixteen hundred in the past is now thirty two hundred. You know, I'm going I'm going a little bit higher, but you get my drift. Some of the communities uh where I used to buy houses at, or you could build them, we could build them for hundred and sixty thousand dollars. These houses now go for four fifty. 500 on top of that higher price you have a higher interest rate and the issue that you're going to look through or see is the fact that these houses are 
money in the bank because everybody needs shelter. There obviously will be some type of correction. How deep? Nobody knows. But as for now, as for now, and I believe the correction has started in some places. Florida, actually, for example, is seeing some price cuts. But when you come up from 160000 to 450 and the price cut from 450 is now 430 what kind of love is that to the new home buyers? That isn't any, my folks. And that's what we're seeing at current state. And people are grabbing them up once they get the $20,000 discount. That's how desperate they are to have the home ownership. Why is this a problem? Well, the middle class, why I talked about slavery, greatest input for wealth, greatest opportunity for wealth for the middle class. What is it? Well, the greatest input for wealth for the middle class happens to be the ownership of a home. The equity in a home after they've paid it off is one of the greatest um what do you want to, what I want to call uh, 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 opportunities to retire in an okay okay place because your house is paid off. Then you just got the taxes, which that's another issue, by the way. They're going to get us homeowners anyway, or investors, right? It's going to be one side or the other. Government's going to hit both sides. The home buyer is going to have issues with the high rent costs, which is they're going to talk about here $2,500 to $3,500 for rent. It used to be around $900 to $1,500, but inflation moves. Every time you get a raise, look, look at yourself in the mirror. You didn't get a raise. They're playing games with you. Because they're, they'll know about it and they'll raise the price. They'll raise the price so much so that it didn't even look like you got a raise. The money went to the house. The money went to the food. The money went to the car. That's that's an area that may be crashing for real, the, the car market. But this is kind of where we're at in the state of non-bliss as the government actions in 2020 by pumping in money, as I just mentioned. Okay. Due to the 2020 COVID crisis, was the reason why there weren't any fences up to entrepreneurs who are just going to do entrepreneur things. So you can't stop an entrepreneur no matter how much money they make from going and trying to do something. That's what they do. You think it's about the money? No, it's about the result. It's about the result. They don't care about the money. I just did a story on an NFL player. Uh, out from the Philadelphia, who make who just signed a contract for seventy five million with fifty one million guaranteed, he went out and bought a house for six hundred thousand, in equivalency to his salary. It's a drop in the bucket, because he's more interested in winning. He's more interested in results. Not a lot of people have that, but that's the entrepreneurial mindset. It's about starting an action and completing it. The money and the material things get old really fast. Please believe me, I'm telling you. You buy a new luxury car, five years later, there's a new one now that's electric, and now your car is obsolete. You buy a nice house, a, uh, a contemporary home, and then five years later, there's a the new design called the new modern, which you're seeing everywhere, the box shape with the high ceilings, and you go, well, my house is now obsolete. And it just continues, guys. For those guys, it's more about the winning process, winning, going through the process and winning. And why I focused in on this on this particular area to help you understand that they'll never stop. The entrepreneur is not going to say, I'm happy with what I have right now. They don't really care about what they have right now. They care about continuing to win the competition. The struggle. So as you as home buyers that are trying to get into business, you're not competing against some of the biggest winners in the game. Well, how may you say that? Well, let's go there. There's a gentleman by the name of Jeffrey Bezos, community talk. And I said I would talk about a lot of bullshit in the beginning, bullshit stories. I'll still do that. But my, my point of this channel is to educate you, take you to the next level. I gave you some examples of my life, the ghetto. I'm, I wasn't a ghetto, but, you know, close to the ghetto, lower middle class. Right. Now that area has moved into a uh, middle class and you say, why? Well, a a gentrification happened. It wasn't white flight. <laughs> well, there was white flight, but.
there was black flight and the Hispanic culture, the richer Hispanics have taken over the area. And I'll say, I'll be the first to say it. The area looks great. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. Now there's crime. There's crime, no doubt about it. But the Hispanics, when they come into a neighborhood, you can see what they do. They totally change it. Now it becomes theirs totally. That's the only, the only issue. When they integrate into the U.S., you know, mi amor, everything's done in Spanish, and it's just interesting. You know, hey, you got to integrate into the U.S. culture, but that appears to not be working for them. Um, there, in some cases, I've met people that have been here. 15 20 years don't speak a lick of english and they have survived and worked etc because they've created their own community but back to this topic here jeff bezos is quietly entering residential mortgage business see the article you see the red i clicked on it earlier he's now going to give high interest rate loans to other investors he thinks that's a lucrative business and in, in our world we we call that and i'll give you a tidbit again because this is part of the wheat economics channel where i want to help you and guide you through some of the aspects of investing financing believe me you want to hear from me i made a lot of mistakes and i'm trying to help you avoid those mistakes and that's the reason for my channel i'm not grant cordon or a super whiz i'm just a guy that made mistakes and can help you through that you want to avoid the mistakes that'll help you win but now he's starting to say hey if you want to build a house or build a community i'll go ahead and fund you if the richest man or one of the richest men in the world i believe elon musk just passed him again yesterday with the big boost to tesla with their opportunities in the um, electric truck. But when you look at Jeff Bezos, second richest man in the world, I would say first for now, all right? Because it hasn't, it hasn't been officially released. And he starts investing in housing with all that money he has behind him. And he got hedge funds investing in real estate. It is an omen for something bad to happen, but on the flip side of it, it's probably not going to happen quickly. That means that correction. That means that crash. They're dumping money back into the market, even with the high cost. See, a lot of these folks don't really live in the world that we live in, guys. Okay. If you go to, there's a couple of areas in California. I'll use Florida, for example. You go to West Palm Beach, you cross over the bridge. I urge you to cross over the bridge. The bridge is, is the divide between the rich and poor, no offense. That's usually how it is. You cross that bridge, you go to the beach side of most areas, and that's where the money's at. Totally different environment. Around them are other people who are successful, and therefore, in their mind, because sometimes they don't do data analyses, they're too floundered by what they have, they go, everybody must be fine. And when you're making millions of dollars, $3,500 rent is a drop in a bucket. Like, shit, that's a, probably a good deal for them. They don't have the knowledge and maybe don't care to you about, hey, this is fucking killing your employees that you're paying $70,000 a year for. Did you check that out? And they got three kids. No husband. No husband, you ask? Yeah. Let's focus in on women as we continue on. And I'm going to skip through it. Here we go. Let's look at the model now. Swimming pool and playground. We toured a five-bedroom home. It's 2,300 square feet and about 2,900 a month. That includes mostly everything except lawn care, which is $50 a month. At 2,900, the rent includes your property taxes, insurance, HOA fees, and obviously your monthly rent for living in the community. And that's a one-year lease minimum uh, for our residents. Inside are the amenities of a brand new build without the headache of home ownership. One of the greatest benefits we offer for our resident is peace of mind. Knowing that repairs to a water heater or an appliance or the roof, as you mentioned, we take care of that for them as part of their monthly rent. This really resonated with Joanna when it came to finding a home. I don't want to be responsible for landscaping, plumbing, electrical, that AC unit. These rental home communities are popping up all over Central Florida. In Brevard County, Condev, a family-owned real estate development company, is building the landings at Vieira, located at Pineda Boulevard and Stadium Parkway. Rent will range from $2,600 to $3,500 a month. 
The developers say the American dream of owning a home is changing with the needs of their customers. That American dream of housing may not be in the form of ownership all the time. Need I say more about the change in the scope of these businesses? And I said they're entrepreneurial. Do you think they jump in these businesses for no reason? Do you think they're there to uh, coddle, kiss your feet? They're in it to make money. If they're, and if they're in it, they're usually making money. Now you say, well, the rents are not too bad in comparison to what I'll be paying for the mortgage. Oh, well, you, you would be correct. They, they built in scale. So they're able to build for a lower cost, multiply the material costs, right? And, and, and ground it down to a better price because they say, hey, we're not building one house, we're building 50. So you're getting 50 times, I want 50% off. And a lot of players will do that to get rid of inventory. Inventory brings additional costs. You want to get rid of inventory as quickly as possible unless you have an appreciating asset such as a house. But even those guys need to turn it. And that's due to the financing, the high interest rate that they have to pay to build it up. But this new model, you heard the, you heard the woman. She's a, she's, she, she'll tell you what she is, I believe. I'm trying to get to that point where she goes, I'm a single hit. Let's get here. Let's get right here. Let's let, let's let her tell you who she is. And I'm telling you, the dissemination of the family, the breakdown of the family, is causing this because now my ladies despite what you want me to say yes there's players out there that are making big money i understand that but it's still called the one percent for the re for a reason still called the ten percent for a reason because not everyone can get there and have that type of wealth so a lot of these ladies out here are going to be what they call single moms of course there's not one out there because we're all conceited and selfish and thought that's not going to think they can get a successful man. They're like, well, I'll, now that's the other girls. I'm going to get a NFL and NBA player. I'm seeing, I'm, I'm getting the sports comments a lot more, even with some grades showing up in my life. Uh, and, and, it's, and I'm understanding that they are hunting now for a superstar only because of the bills. They don't want to work. Work is getting painful. And that's totally, totally understandable, right? So not 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 it's not, that's not to say if you're at a home you're not working you're probably doing you know doing just as equal work but different raising a kid cleaning a house etc but you have a little bit more freedoms as an employer for your kids right or employee for your kids let's let the girl tell you her background let's see if she says it here because the demand is only growing as a single mom especially it's difficult to be uh, you want me to sing the song? You love me hit it once. Put your bam my mouth. Now you're gonna sing. I'm I'm not gonna sing it. I'm not gonna continue singing it. You know, I got Usher in me, so I don't wanna kill the video. But single mom, no husband, probably three kids, needs a place to live. Hey, we got an opportunity for you. You're gonna be in the rental. The rental, she's just gonna go home, come back home, no equity, nothing's gonna appreciate. Where do you where do you put your money? Well, I'm trying to put in a 401k. Okay, don't worry about that. You can put a little bit there. The rents, one little thing about rents, a little little tidbit, a little sprinkle, sprinkle on your head. They usually don't stay the same when a big corporation comes in. If it's a smaller private owner such as myself, yeah, I may leave it there because you're not giving me a headache. But a big, big company. Pff, Every year, it's going to creep a little bit higher. 50, 100, 100. You can learn this from, I would call it the New York effect. Folks in New York that rented in the 1950s still have their rentals, and now their rentals have become an asset because the rents have gone so goddamn high. They used to have rent $400, $500, and then people locked in long-term rents with the landlord at those times back in the day. And they're still paying that now. Like if you got a $500 rent payment, yes, I would say you don't need to buy a house. Because <laughs> you can pocket the rest of your money and make up for the difference of the appreciation that the house is going to give you. But that's far and few between and that's from a past of ghost of past sense. It is now the time of $2,000 rent is now the average. If you go lower, you're probably not in the area that you want to be in. And it's probably going to climb up to 3000 4000 And even in my area where I'm at, 5000 6000 I'm seeing them, and that's pretty normal. That's pretty normal. And people are able to pay because, of course, they got the raises, $150,000 a year per, per couple, right? $150,000 each, three hundred dollars 
um, you know, they're bringing in 6000 on one paycheck. They Somebody pays the rent and the rest of that money goes into whatever they want it to go into. So it can work out if the salaries continue to increase. But the problem is, is the American dream. And with entrepreneurs like Jeff Bezos now in it, you wait till Elon Musk gets in it. Folks, uh, it's going to be a rough season for equity, for growth and wealth. And it's going back to the old times without the whips and chains when you think about it. That's a summary of the video. We are not, not what we think we're not, if you get my drift. Whips and chains, like as I, as I mentioned, were done in the past. But now the way they whip you is an alarm bell at 6, 7 a.m. to get up. And then a commute home back to a house that you don't own. This is the new American dream. You will own nothing. We talk economics. We talk in media. I'm out. Like, subscribe, share.